Hello friends, uh, in the previous video we changed the roles so we no longer have now uh, the users is admin or not but we added this role ID and based on the role ID we check here in the admin middleware so if the authenticated user is not admin in the user model we created this uh, attribute is admin and check if the role id is true based in that we make a check here and we allow another user to access this admin and that is okay B but if you go to the spati laravel permission and in the using permission via roles you can see here we can assign many uh, roles to the user and that's it because here we have uh, with this package we don't have sorry this role id here but we make a relationship with the pivot table and if you don't want that you can remove this in the users and create a pivot table for user and uh, role and user and make a relationship i'm not going to do that and also here we have the permissions and we can give a permission to the user to edit or delete uh, articles or what we want for that i have created two more uh, migrations and models one for posts and one for settings and also in the users i have created one more user name it manager and i have added the role id4 and in the roles i have created one more role manager with I, this manager is has the id4 so this user with manager has the role with id4 which is manager and now i want a manager to access also this admin area and here i'm going to add also the link for the posts and the settings but the manager can access only the products and posts not the settings so first let's go and go to the admin uh, admin blade layout and add two more allies links here so when we have this products copy this and add one more for the admin uh, posts index and say posts here and one more for the settings okay and say settings index and also say settings here save but also we need to create the these roads so first make artisan make a controller and admin post controller and also admin settings controller okay close this one now open the web routes and copy this and paste this is going to be for the post and here we need the post controller And here is going to be the settings. And also here the setting controller. Okay, save, come here and refresh. And admin settings is not. Admin settings, typo here, save and refresh okay now we have all the products 
so let's uh, check if the user is also so here i am logged in as a manager but right now we don't have the link here to go to the admin and also if i go to the admin uh, we have this forbidden here and that is because we uh, in the admin middleware we check for the user if it is admin or not so what we can do we can say here also if the if the user is not uh, logged in or is not admin and uh, if I open the user I'm going to create one more for the one more accessor for the manager so say here is manager and the role ID is going to be 4 here save and here we can say and not authenticated user is manager save come here and refresh yeah come here now and refresh and yeah we have access but uh, and also we can go to the admin blade and do the same thing when we check for the link so not in the admin sorry in the navigation blade here we check if the authenticated user is admin or the authenticated user is manager save and come here and refresh go to the dashboard and right now we have this admin well, that is okay but you see here we have this long and maybe if we have something more we can check if this is this or this is this for that is good to use gates so go to the Laravel documentation gates and we are going to define a gate open the auth service provider and in here register a new gate so here i'm going to say gate define for access uh, admin and import the user up model user remove this post we don't need that right now and here we can return if the user is admin or the user is manager save now in the navigation instead of uh, saying this one we can say remove this and say can and the name of the gate access admin copy come here paste that in and now remove this one and remove the end if save this go to the brave refresh go to the dashboard and yeah we have that and also in the in this one if i go to the dashboard yeah 
uh, also we can add in the web routes so if i add in the web routes now here we can add the middleware not is admin but can and access the admin save come here and refresh yeah the same thing refresh and if i uh, go to the dashboard and log out i'm going to log in now as a uh, sorry i'm going to log in as a uh, test user we don't have the admin here and if i go to the admin we have this action is unauthorized before three okay and this is because we added here the gate for can access admin now it's up to you uh, next thing what i want to do also is to hide the settings here so right now if i go and go to the dashboard log out and log in as manager we'll go to the admin yeah we have the settings and we can hide that so if i go to the admin layout we have the settings and this one now cut and say if the user can access admin and paste that in save come here and refresh oh no now can access access admin yes because here we say and this manager but uh, can access settings for example i'm going to create a new one so create a get a new gate copy and paste here and and copy this one uh, go now to the admin blade and instead of access admin we can say access settings save come here and refresh oh yeah we need also to make a change here this is going to be only if the user is admin and refresh for the last time we don't have here and if i go here refresh yeah we have that so this is how we can uh, create permissions with laravel gates hope you enjoy friends all the best